We know these sounds, but our kids will likely never know. Okay, it happened to me. I heard a certain sound, and I was curious if my son Ian could recognize the sound. So I asked him, and guess what? He had no idea that that sound was coming from, are you ready for it, a typewriter. So I thought it might be fun to travel down memory lane before these retro gadgets and sounds go bye-bye for good. When is the last time you've seen one of these? The classic manual typewriter. Yes, kids, this is how we used to type letters, school reports, and other formal documents in the days before computers and email. You had to push these keys pretty hard to type a letter or else the ink wouldn't show. And a bell sound would let you know that you were near the end of the line. And there was no such thing as copy and paste. Any mistakes had to be covered up with a little bottle of white touch-up paint and then you typed over it. I bet you're really appreciating your laptop now. And kids, believe it or not, this is a phone. Before phones went digital and way before cell phones, we all used rotary phones, which were plugged into the wall. You had to put your finger in the hole that matched the corresponding number and then move your fingers to dial a number. Very low tech and very time consuming. Make sure you give your iPhone a little kiss today and tell it how much you love it. And way, way before DVDs and Blu-ray, we watched our movies on a certain device called a film projector. This is an old Bell & Howell 8mm movie projector, which was a very common way to watch those over-the-top driver's ed movies in school. The movie quality was bad, grainy video with film tearing and lots of annoying popping in the audio. To make matters worse, when you actually did get a good selection of film, the projector was so loud that you often had to turn up the volume all the way just to hear the narration. But some film buffs will speak lovingly of the projector. Don't believe them. New source of supply. No new pipelines, no new transmission line. How'd you like this HD? From the 1940s until about 1980, TV looked and sounded a lot like this. And that hand you see in the video is actually someone manually changing the channel. That's right, back in the day, you had to get up off the couch, walk over to the TV set, and actually turn the button to switch the channels. And get this, there was no such thing as a remote, and there were only three channels, NBC, ABC, and CBS. Be with us on Channel 7 when we return to the air at 7 this morning with Super Friends. In the meantime, we invite you to tune to KABC Radio, 79 on your AM dial. And at about midnight each night, this is what you heard. The TV stations actually shut down at night. No late night programming. Everybody went to bed. And finally, when it came to music, there were no MP3s, no CDs, and no iTunes. Just this. This is a record player, which at the time played music on vinyl. This really was the only way the public could listen to music, by playing one of these round discs, which you could buy at a record store. The sound was scratchy and usually only amplified through one crappy small speaker. And imagine how hard it was to carry this thing around and stick it in your backpack. Okay, now I feel really old. Time to go. And for some things analog, but usually digital, please drop by and visit me again here at tvkim.com. Now, this word from my sponsor. Every time you turn on your computer or download a picture or take your laptop on the road, you're taking a risk because in an instant, your computer could crash, it could get infected with some virus, it could get stolen, and then you would lose all of your files forever. But if you do as I've done and get Carbonite Online backup before you have that computer disaster, your pictures and your other files are backed up automatically and continually. And if you do have that computer disaster, it'll be so easy to restore your backed up files. And it's so easy to get started Started using Carbonite, anyone can do it. To start your risk-free, no credit card required trial today, simply go to Carbonite.com and be sure to use offer code KIM and then you get two bonus months if you decide to buy. That's Carbonite.com and the offer code for two bonus months, it's KIM.